and welcome to Love Doing Yoga on this Wednesday evening. Hope you're having a nice week and you've recovered from our little bit of disappointment on Saturday, but uh, hopefully the boys will do us proud next weekend. Um, so a nice practice today, a little bit of balancing in there, a little bit of arm work, so hopefully you will enjoy it. As always, throughout the practice, listen to your body and only do what feels right for you today. So we will begin our practice today in a seated position, sitting up nice and tall, lengthening through your spine as you close your eyes and slow down. Letting go of your day and everything that's going on in your world. Just bringing yourself to your mat. Becoming aware of yourself sitting on your mat. Aware of how tall you can make yourself sit. Aware of your alignment. Scanning your body for any points of tension. And with awareness, just releasing that tension. And then letting your focus go to your breath. Inhaling through your nose. Filling your belly. Pause. And then exhaling through your nose. Getting into that nice, steady, flowing rhythm of your breath. Extending that exhale. And connecting with yourself. Taking two more breaths here. And then when you're ready, gently opening up your eyes and let's make our way through our tabletop to come and stand at the top of your mat with your feet hip width apart, equal weight on both feet as you stand up nice and tall here, spreading that weight, distributing it evenly between the ball and the heel of the foot. Both feet pointing in the same direction. Finding that length again in the spine, so you're standing up really tall, feeling like you've got that cord coming out from the crown of your head to just help elongate your body. Turn the palms out to face the front. Let's take two breaths here. And then raising the arms up over the head, clasping the fingers, press them away. Still looking straight in front of you, having those arms running up past your ears. One more breath here. And then releasing the hands, let that right leg step back. So we want to be able to have the weight um, on that right foot, just moving that weight slightly to the outside of the right foot, bending his left knee so it's over your ankle. Letting your right hand rest on your right thigh. And draw the left arm out in front of you, palm facing upwards. As you draw the arm back, follow with your gaze. And then rotate your upper body 
to face in that direction for a reverse warrior pose. Let's take three breaths here. And coming back to upright here, shifting the weight into this left leg as we draw the right leg up and bring the hands into prayer at your chest, gaze downwards. One more breath here if you can. And then let the hands travel on down as the right leg raises up. Bending the knee of that standing leg if you feel it's too much of a stretch in your hamstring. One more breath here. And now just rotating that right foot so it's now parallel with the mat having that left hand a little bit out to the side of the left leg and raise the right arm up either onto your hip or stretching it all the way up. Body and gaze looking straight in front of you. Not a war, whatever is there. One more breath here. And then drawing that right hand down, step the right foot up beside the left and come up to stand. From here, once again, turning the palms out, feet hip width apart, pointing to the front, palms facing in front of you, taking two breaths. Then raising those arms up past the ears, clasping the hands together as you press them away towards the ceiling. Two breaths here. Releasing the hands down, this time stepping the left leg back. So your feet are hip width apart or wider if you like. You can take up the whole of the mat. Bending this right knee so it's over the ankle. A little bit of weight in the outside of that left leg. Let the left hand come on the back of the left thigh. Raising that right arm out in front of your palm facing upwards as you draw that palm back. Follow it with your gaze and then rotate the body towards it and let's take three breaths here. Coming back to upright, bringing those hands into prayer at the chest as you shift the weight into the right leg and raise the left leg up. Two more breaths here. Letting the hands come down, 
onto the mat, to the floor, raising that left leg up a little higher. And then you can bring the leg down to that hip height, turning the foot so it's parallel with the floor. The right hand a little out to the side of that right leg as you draw that left hand up either onto your hip or pointing all the way up for your half moon pose. Two more breaths here. into a forward fold. Bend your knees as much as you need to. We're not going to stay here long. We're going to make our way down onto our mat and coming into a child's pose. Lowering the forehead down onto the mat. Clasping the hands behind your back. Just draw them away. Just helping to release the shoulders and the arms. One more breath. And then releasing the hands. Coming up to kneel upright. And from here, coming to sit with your right leg. Right foot in against the left leg. Bending that left knee, holding on to the toes of the left leg. Let's stretch that leg up. Sitting up tall. One more breath here. And releasing that leg down, let's just take that to the other side. So the left foot is up against that right side, bending the right knee as you raise that right leg. to a plank momentarily but go for our side plank. So we can do your side plank in two different ways. Let's uh, try it both ways. So from here, shoulders over those wrists, softness in the elbow, fingers open nice and wide. Let's step it out into our plank. And then from here, coming onto the side of that right foot, bring the left foot into the center and raise the left arm up. Let's take two breaths here. Then draw that left hand down and then step the left leg back, keeping it extended. If that's too challenging, you can always bring the left leg back into the centre. But if you want to just test yourself a little bit more, stretch that left leg out, raise the arm up for two breaths. And 
drawing that left arm down, coming back into your plank for a breath. And bring the knees down, pushing it back into child's pose while I just move around to the other edge. One more breath here. And then let's make our way once again into our plank. This time coming on to the side of the left foot, bring the right leg into the center, raising that right arm up for two breaths. Drawing the right arm down, step the right leg out long, and come back into your full side plank for two breaths. And then coming back through your plank for a breath. Coming down on the knees, pushing back into your child's pose. And then making your way through tabletop, let's once again come to stand at the top of our mat. From here, bringing those hands into prayer, shifting the weight into that left leg, turn that right leg at a right angle and draw it up onto your calf or your thigh for your tree pose. Finding your point of balance, soften the gaze, bringing the arms up over the head, opening them out. Taking two more breaths here. Bringing the hands back down into prayer. Let's step this right leg back, keeping it in line, the heels in line with each other, bending this left knee. Right leg out behind you, resting the elbow on that left thigh as you raise the right arm up past the ear for an extended side angle pose, keeping those shoulders stacked on top of each other. One more breath here. And then bringing the hands down inside that left foot, rotate on the uh, right foot, so pointing forward, and come into a lizard pose, either with your knee raised or the knee on the mat. Coming down onto your forearms and taking three breaths here. back onto your hands. Let's step this right leg up to the top of the mat. Bend the knees, coming all the way up to stand, bringing those hands into prayer at the chest. And let's turn the left foot out to the side at a right angle. Raising that left leg up 
to the calf or the thigh, keeping the knee at a right angle. Find your gaze point, soften the gaze, raising the arms up and over the head, opening the mat. Three breaths here. Bring the hands back down into prayer. Let's step that left leg back, lining up the heels, bending that right knee, and forearm on the right thigh as you draw that left arm up past the ear. Stacking the shoulders on top of each other. Two more breaths. Swiveling on the left foot and coming down onto your forearms, keeping that knee raised or on the mat if you prefer. For your visit pose, taking three deep breaths here. Come down onto the mat, keeping the hands down on the mat. Draw that right leg back. And let's push back into child pose. Allow the spine to round, let the arms come down by your side. One more breath here. And then let's make our way down to lie on the mat. Allowing the feet to flop out to the side, palms facing upwards. As you just soften your body. And give it time to release. of your body and shoulder blades. Letting down the front of your body, chest and shoulders. Letting down your arms and your hands. Back of your head, the crown of your head, your forehead, eyebrows, eyes, cheeks, jaw, chin, and the whole of your body. Just let it go. Taking time for gratitude here, identifying something, someone in your life that you're feeling particularly grateful for today. And 
Now let your attention go to your breath. As you inhale to your nose, filling your belly, pause, and then exhale. 